It's me, Tanise Juanita, Nice Nita. I'm here to talk about my experience skydiving because I got a lot of questions about it. You know, I can't answer like everybody's questions because I got a job. Like I gotta go to work. So, hello. I can't be back here like. So, I'm here to just break it down. Like, break it down from the beginning from why I did it, I guess, to like the end or whatever. So first of all, why did I go skydiving? It's because I've been wanting to do it for years now. And I don't know, this year felt like, damn, Denise, go do it now. I did it in Oceanside, which is really pretty. They had another one in Taft, California, which is like, I've never even heard of that shit before until I looked up on Groupon. <laughs> Let me tell y'all about that on a Groupon. I chose Oceanside because, you know, it's the ocean. Who, who doesn't want to jump out of a plane over the ocean? Okay, it was lit. Like a lit. I literally booked this thing like two weeks before my birthday or my birthday weekend or whatever. Shout out to the Scorpios out there. We are lit. It got posted today. I was supposed to go with one of my friends. Well, not like she wasn't gonna go skydiving, skydiving with me. She just was gonna come along, like just be like a support system or whatever. She couldn't even go with me. And I was just like, hey. Psh whatever like next okay so what am i gonna do so i was just like hey i'm gonna go with myself i did have a guy offer to go with me and i was like no i'd rather jump out of the plane without a parachute than go with you so i was like no i'm going by myself yeah and i was born alone hello 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 yeah so i went by myself i know in your head you're like yo this bitch crazy oh my god but i'm not shit like i'm independent like i could do shit by myself it's not that serious like I went, boop, boop, boop. I would say clocked in, I'm not going to work. I like checked in, I checked in and they're like, okay, the wait is like two hours. I said, bitch, what? <laughs> two hours? I scheduled an appointment. My appointment was at 1 p.m. And they're like, it's a two hour wait. So I was like, hey, I'm just going to get something to eat and come right back. And mind you, I was on the phone with my mom, like on FaceTime with my mom during this whole check-in situation, talking about I'm gonna go eat. She's like, oh my God, you're gonna eat before that? And I'm like, yeah, I can't jump on an empty stomach. Like, I might faint in the air. Yeah, I went to eat, came back. I came back late. So the girl told me to come back by at least 1.45 the latest. My ass got there at like 1.50, like, hey, what up, when's my turn? They're like, oh, they were calling you Thompson Thompson. I was like, what, bitch, I missed it? Damn. Oh, before? Okay. Wind, rewind back because I'm forgetting shit. The reason for the two hour wait was because one of the planes broke down. And you would think, like, ring a ling a ling, like, alert, alert, like, don't jump out, bitch. You're gonna die, bitch. Don't go. So, like, you would have thought that would have been my mindset when as soon as I heard that. And I was just like, fucking, I'm gonna go something to eat. I'll be right back. And then I came back, missed my turn. So I was like, oh, maybe that's another one. But I was like, girl. You're already here. You're gonna jump out the damn plane. You gonna wait until it's your turn again. So my time comes. They're like Tanise, and I was like, Oh my god, they said my name right. Yo, people say my name like so wrong. It's not Tanise for anybody who doesn't know my name out there. Hey, my name is Tanise, Tin East, not Ty. No, no. La la la. We're like hooking up my shit. I'm just like, oh, I got my little harness on. I'm like. At first, I was like, is this going to be a little tired? Because, like, I'm about to jump out the plane. Like, what are y'all doing? And, like, me, they're, like, recording, like, my video. Because, you know, I paid for the video, too. And, like, me, I'm being all corny. They're like, oh, what are you doing today? And I'm like, oh, it's my birthday. I'm turning 24. And I'm like, ah. They're like, anyone come with you? I was like, no, I'm by myself. Solo, dolo, all day. And like, I didn't really say that part. Because, yeah. Yeah, they're, like, recording the video. Like, oh, yeah, girl, be hype. So they put the harness on. It's a little loose. I'm like, okay. Like, I don't know why I was so calm the whole, like, the whole time I was so calm. And, like, I was just, like, am I just, like, fuck it? Who cares? Like, is that my mindset right now? Like, I was just, like, why am I not scared? So, I meet the photographer girl, too, who's in, the videographer girl who's going to be videoing me while I'm skydiving because there's two different ty types of videos that you can do. So, you can do the hand one where they're, like, ooh, you're, like, flying in your chin and holding their hand. Or you can do the one where it's like the full on video. Like you can see yourself twirling around and shit in the sky. Oh, by the way, this is my plant fizz. 
that's who I'm hitting. He got the new growth though, like, he got the new growth. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. So we get on the plane, I'm like chilling. First of all, no, we're in this little ass airplane and it's like literally like us back, like stuck to each other like this, stacked in front of each other. And we just up and be like, ooh, I'm in the plane, oh, and I'm just looking out the window like, Get up there, we get to the highest point. First of all, they had the door open because it was hot. They're like, oh, it's hot, let's open the door because there's no windows. I'm just like, what are we about to, what is happening? Um, she finishes hooking up, since she's behind me, my um, tandem skydive lady, she's like behind me, she hooks me up, tightens me up, and I was like, oh, okay, this is where they tighten you up. So I was like, okay, I'm about to survive. But it was like 20 minutes, she said, it was like a 20 minute ride up to the sky. Okay, we get up there, everyone's ready, got the goggles on. Ready to go, jump out the plane. This girl leaves. I see her tip out the motherfucking plane. I said, oh shit. It's about to get real. So then it's my turn. So y'all, this is the only time I was scared. The only time I was scared. We have to scoot. We have to scoot to the end of the plane. Then throw your motherfucking legs out and just fall. Like Michelle's like, oh my God. Oh my God. I've had dreams. I have dreams that have woken me up out of my sleep where I was falling somewhere. That was what I was realizing. I was like, fuck, bitch, you awake. There's no waking up in your sleep. You about to jump out, you tipping out the plane. Tip me over and pour me out. But it was like literally, I was scared for like five seconds. So after I tipped out, I figured it out. And I was like, oh, I'm, there. I'm an angel. I'm a bird. Hear me, whatever. What a bird, bird man. <laughs> after that, I was like, I felt so free. It, it was so freeing to just be in the sky and you're just like, ah. And the, and the lady's in the front of me recording me and she's all on her back skydiving. I'm like, yo, this bitch is talented. But it felt very freeing and I was just like, oh my God, thank God for this experience because like, there's a lot of people who are afraid to do it. And I just feel like you should experience one time. You're not gonna faint in the middle of the sky, I promise. The free fall is like at least one to two minutes long because dropping is real fast. You you going fast. You ain't going slow. I was drooling in my video because I was smiling so hard and my eyes were tearing, my nose was running. I was just like, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> so I was just in the sky. Um, parachute drop with parachute is like about 10 to 12 minutes. Like, cause like after that part is slow, like you just, in that time, I was doing it, I was literally talking to my tandem skydive lady. We are like having full-blown conversations. We were talking about like our lives and stuff like, oh, yo, she did that, yeah. And we were like, oh my God, for real, yeah. As we're landing, so you're supposed to land like you're sitting on a like an invisible chair, but for some reason, like her, she slipped or something and like we ended up falling on my ass. So like I had like a little bruised tailbone and like, and um, they like take you inside and you get your little your little souvenir from the place and they're like here you go and it's like a book about skydiving why you should skydive and blah blah yeah, it was a wonderful experience like literally you gotta go out there and do it I felt like I was living my life it was so great it's probably the best birthday present to myself I hope my video helped you out I just want to say anyone who's going to skydive do not think negatively about the skydive. If you think negatively about the skydive, you're not gonna wanna do it. Think positive things like, oh my God, I'm gonna feel like a bird. I'm gonna be flying in the sky, I'm gonna land. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Don't think negatively like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. No, I can't do it. Like, don't do that. Listen. <laughs> and I loved it so much. Oh, I would do it again. I would do it again. Please share your skydiving experience with me when you get to do it as well. So, I hope you have a good day. And I'm out. How was your birthday celebration? It was so good. At first, I jumped out. I was like, oh, shit. Then I was like, oh. Then I started drooling. And I'm like, oh, my God, my nose. It's just so good. It was awesome. Good I was just like, oh, I feel like a little bird.